now we shall discuss about the factors that are affecting the india's climatic condition first let us take about the latitudinal extent of india as we all know that india has one of the important tropics passing through india that is the tropic of cancer the tropic of cancer passes through the ran of kutch in gujarat towards the eastern part of india so half of the india falls into the tropical zone while the other half falls into the subtropical zone so india rightly has a mixture of tropical and the subtropical climate effect for us so india northern india receives much less heat when compared to the southern india because it falls into the tropical zone and that falls into the temperate zone so like this we have temperature been influenced by the latitudes of india that is especially the tropic of cancer because the tropic of cancer passes through the center of india next we have the another important factor that is the altitude the altitude as i mentioned earlier is the level above from the sea level we have himalayas the mountain range the average height of the mountains is around 6000 meters in the inner layers of the himalayas or the greater himalayas which object the movement of the winds which are coming from the other side from the central asia and in a similar way we have the coastal areas which are 30 meters above the normal land sea level so altitude also plays a very vital role in determining the temperature of a place as i mentioned earlier when we move away from sea level or when we are moving higher towards the from the sea level to the higher elevation towards the atmosphere we get the temperatures growing dropping down and the third important factor that is the pressure winds the pressure winds are upper circulating winds pressure and the surfacing winds and the circulating winds these all winds which originate in the local regions and pass on through different passes and gather the moisture and everything and influence the land masses so we have different effects of this one first major effect what we have is the coriolis effect generally in india we get winds which are coming from the other parts but when the winds which are coming from the northern side we get them and we do not receive much rainfall because the winds which are coming from the northern regions which are in the subtropical regions get the high pressure belts from that high pressure belts they start to move towards the southern side towards the eastern southern side that is when the earth is rotating because of the coriolis effect the earth moves round and the winds starts to move in the reverse direction like on the north they move towards the eastern side while on the west they move towards the uh, sorry on the south they move towards the western side this is the reverse law or the ferrell law where it states that because of the movement of the earth the movement of the winds on the northern hemisphere move towards the eastern side while in the southern hemisphere they move towards the western side this is a coriolis effect stated by the ferrell's law and because of this though the northern hemisphere though the subtropical regions of the high pressure belts in the north brings the high pressure winds towards the indian side but india doesn't receive any rainfall because these winds do not carry any kind of rainfall or moisture with them but when it comes to southern region the southern ocean from where the high pressure belts again start to move on they move towards the equator with the movement with gathering of the entire warm moisture which is over the oceans and then they move towards the equator and from equator they turn towards the eastern side so we get the monsoons which are coming from the south and the western side tilting towards the eastern side so we experience heavy rainfalls in the indian mainland because of the south west monsoons which are coming from the southern ocean so we have winds coming from north coming from south from the north we get winds but no rains from south we get winds and we also get heavy rainfall and we also have jet streams the streams which are coming from the western side are having very huge enormous energy with them and they come with a huge force that is the reason why they are known as jet streams these jet streams generally come at a degree of the latitudes like 27 degrees to 
30 degrees wherein way they travel with a speed of 110 degrees or 110 kilometers in summer while in winter it goes up to 184 kilometers so that's how the jet streams also influence the climate of any particular place the main factors which are affecting the climate of india are the latitudes because of tropic of cancer the altitudes the himalayas and the coastal regions the third the pressure winds the fourth the coriolis effect the ferrell's law and the southwest monsoons and finally not last and the least but it is the jet streams which are coming with a very huge speed these all are the important factors which influence the india's climatic condition if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus